My name is uh, Jason Lee, CEO of Smartcone Technologies, and I've created a product called the Smartcone, which is this device here, and its purpose to help save lives and be deployable in any situation around the world. The Smartcone is a deployable multi-sensor IoT base station. It has everything from connectivity, from cellular to satellite, through all the different sensors and actionable intelligence to provide warnings for people in a uh, hazardous area. In 2010, I uh, did a research project with uh, Keep the Warfighter Safe with USDOD. And back then we were talking about using small affordable sensors on the Warfighter to collect data in real time to prevent, to keep them safe. After the uh, budgets for the, for the war died, out, but died down, we turned our direction to work zone safety and construction safety. And we were doing small sensors and integrating them into this base station before IoT uh, had really uh, started to come out. When IoT came out, we realized that what we had stumbled on was a way for IoT companies to quickly be able to deploy technology inside this embodiment so they could utilize things like low-cost technologies to stop people from infringing on a safe work zone or using license plate recognition to track assets as they go on and off job sites, uh, things like that. So inside this device is a high power computer, microcontrollers and sensors, and also software that looks a lot like cloud-based software. So what you see here is passive infrared sensors, a 360 degree camera, LEDs. We also have modules that have audio alarms and a variety of other sensors. The sensor data is collected by this device itself and also processed in the device without requiring internet connectivity and it can provide alarms and warnings to people to keep them safe all by itself. Now we also provide uh, Smartcone Connect, which is our cellular service, so that we can connect multiple smart cones together in an environment and work with IBM Watson IoT to analyze that data for process improvement and, and uh, larger analytical information that could be used for in, uh, innovating new technology, for example. So the first thing that, you know, I, I have experience in traveling around the world from Siberia to Bolivia and the first challenge that you have when you deploy technology is having access to a common components. So we made the device in a three inch tube and we did that so that customers who wanted to use this kind of technology, like IoT based technology, could really install it, put it anywhere, repair it, or change the shape if they needed to. That was the first thing. And the reason we did that is because deployment of IoT technology is, is uh, very important, not easy to do. So we made that easy for people to do. The next piece was allowing them, or giving them the ability to integrate it into their existing infrastructure so they could collect sensor data and make it meaningful within their own environment. And that's what led us to our, our next piece. The third piece was integrating the connectivity. We often tried to work with third party integration companies for connectivity and it was always seemed like a hassle for the customer. So we integrated inside the device so we can provide a turnkey solution again to make it easy and low cost to deploy technology. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's a big issue. The, uh, the reason it's a big issue, if you take a work zone for example, if you have a traffic pile up or an accident on a highway, it's not enough just to be able to collect local data. You have to begin to coordinate relationships with first responders and tow trucks and things like this. So having connectivity enables you to quickly eliminate situations on a road uh, or uh, let's say call in the right ambulance or truck. And so connectivity is a major piece of the IoT infrastructure. Well, our focus is, is uh, on the um, autonomous vehicle market. So most of the major accidents that have happened in autonomous vehicles are between a driver in a manual vehicle versus the autonomous vehicle. And we believe that, that the, a device like this can play a role in that, where it can provide visual instructions to the person in the 1973 pickup truck, but then also our wireless technology with cooperation with IBM's uh, engine can communicate with autonomous vehicles. And a device like this can then be a signal between the uh, legacy automotive world and the future autonomous uh, world. And that conversation we don't hear a lot about, but this device would be ideal for that situation. Well, I think that the, the IoT in general is an exciting time. Microcontrollers and technology is so low cost now that it's making it possible to enhance people's lives and it's, it's an exciting thing to be part of and you know, we're very proud to have been invited to this event and to be part of the whole market and we just think it's a great time.